Hello and welcome to Sage, Sage and Brush Watercolors again. I'm uh, in a barn at Camelot Farms in Pennsylvania and I'm grooming uh, the next subject of our painting. This is Annabelle. She's a Basker curly pony. And if you can see, it's very unusual. Her whole coat is nothing but curls. And that's, that's the texture that fascinates me that I want to try to paint, paint for us. So, uh, and she's obviously just shedding. So, we'll finish up here and then uh, I'll see you back at the studio and we'll try to paint her portrait. Well, we're back in my new studio, and before I left the barn, I took uh, some photographs of Annabelle, and this is the one that I choose to work from. And Annabelle is 19, and a rescued pony, and uh, my friends, the Castriata family here on the barn, which you just saw, uh, are going to give her a place to live the rest of her life, and they're taking wonderful care of her and she's a, a sweet pony. And uh, I like this picture because of the contrast, the, uh, all the shadow effects, and, and I'll be talking to you about that. So for my drawing, I used the grid method of putting small squares on the uh, photograph and then larger squares on my drawing paper. And uh, so I did these squares and was able to draw the outline of Annabelle. So now that the image is drawn and the shadow areas are lightly marked, I want to cover the whole image with uh, art masking fluid to protect the image and I'm using soap on my brush. This is an old brush, but you have to use old brushes that you don't mind even ruining. So I'm going to cover this, the whole image of Annabelle with masking fluid. And it's a, a bit of a tedious process, but you have to be sure to cover completely every area that you don't want to get paint on when you go to paint the background. So we're just about finished putting this protective masking fluid on Annabelle, Annabelle's image. And you'll notice, of course you notice, that I'm painting or uh, putting this mask it over some areas that I already put some paint down. And you can do that. You can apply a mask it over a painted area, provided that area is really dry. And this, I made sure that paint was very dry. And this is just to protect the areas I don't want to paint yet while I figure out what to do for the background, which will probably be the next, the next video here. Today, I just wanted to show you how to get it drawn and protected. And you need to wash your brush as soon as you're finished using the mask it, masking fluid. Okay, it's been a little while since I did my last video and, and obviously we're back and Annabelle was my inspiration to, to uh, get back into it. And as always, I want to leave you with a memo from your heart. And this one says that uh, being loved gives you strength, and loving gives you courage. I also sometimes forget to mention my own book but I'll use today uh, to remind you that if anyone interested, I have a book on Amazon called Memo From Your Soul. And uh, 
like to think of it, it as, as inspirational and uh, it tells a lot about my art path. So thanks. Thanks for staying with me on these videos. I appreciate it.